That was a close one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, mate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas II was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves. The recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. <sighs> There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I've lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. 
Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that keep me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business is moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Read on. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity hmm. Master. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just can keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Getting nowhere fast. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Jesus! Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, it might be muddy. I'm going to go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, Whoa. shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape or something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. 
Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <laughs> stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. to do it. Wow, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here. A well-to-do pirate, far away from your oppressive government. Ha ha ha, poor oppressed pirate. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. How would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Wait for approval from the new unit Good. Considering the last time you handled explosives, you nearly blew up everyone in the street. I'd say it's a good thing you're not in charge. Off the time, but I'll be sure to run that by Nadine. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> Sully, so, like, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. More of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, 
Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Well, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard who saw me as a charity case, I guess. He'd uh, check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. Oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Sam, you were saying? No, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. Had to Check it out, boys. What is it? Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline, Mercs? I can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Check this out. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Another sigil. Do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her too. Hey, be careful, kid. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I see you. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. Keep up the good work, kid.
that bridge down. Try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? You know, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in play. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting you to be partnered with it. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. Well, it's worth a try. Slip and slide! <laughs> There we go. We're all set. Here we go. Easy. Fun, right? Yeah, well, I'm definitely sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. <laughs> Hold on to something. <laughs> ah. ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost. Disappointed. Almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys.
Uh, can't get in that way. Uh, Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Uh, heads up! Ah, Jesus! I said heads up! He seems excited. Oh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, um... It's, it's Adam Baldridge, it's uh, Joseph Farrell, and it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? You gotta push a button, pull something? Well, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <laughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here.
of them? Well, let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of twelve. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. No, no, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Yeah.